what's going on everybody welcome back to another episode this is the final video of the Africa series really sad that it's coming to an end now with that being said um, I want to lay just a little bit of context down for you guys very quickly um, we're changing it up here we're hopping out of our main hide that we've been hunting for most of the week and we go and we get in a different one and we're kind of late it's like 3.30 in the afternoon and we take off from one hide, jump to this one. We get in, we get all settled up, and the first thing I see in like the first, I don't know, 15 minutes is all these kudu that are pouring in. Now, this is extremely special all the way around. This entire hunt is. Uh, it's it's like a one in a million kind of deal, and I was very very fortunate, and very blessed uh, to be able to harvest this animal, and it really means a lot to me. One quick little thing, one other quick little thing that I will explain before we jump um, into the footage itself is this particular kudu, um, it's a cow. Um, we had been in camp at this point for, I don't know, like six or seven days, and almost every single day the conversation was brought up about this kudu cow with horns. Um, I, I'd seen pictures of her, Dempsey had showed me pictures of her, nobody was able to harvest this kudu cow that had horns, um, even like the PHs, when they'd be out and about, they'd see her, they'd try to shoot her with a rifle, and nobody could catch up with her. None of the hunters could catch up with her, and none of the PHs could, and so it was like this hot topic throughout the week. Um, it's kudu cow with horns, kudu cow with horns, and so it was, it was very special for a couple of reasons, obviously because it's extremely rare, but uh, secondly, Becca and Ben, some very good friends of ours, um, who I know that you guys have, have seen throughout some of these videos, just little snippets of them being in some of the videos, and Becca actually chased this kudu cow, um, chased, she stalked this kudu cow with a rifle um, the morning of this hunt. She couldn't catch up to her, and they ended up getting off on a big kudu bull. So this kudu cow gets away, and lo and behold, <laughs> we... We go to basically to the other side of the concession, and she pops up with some younger bulls and some other cows. It was incredible. Like I was, I was just blown away. And it was super funny because I'm sitting there holding the camera and I'm filming as these cooter are coming in. I'm getting some B-roll and stuff. And then I see the cow, and just about the time I'm fixing to turn it and tell Dempsey, he's already like over my shoulder in the binoculars, and he sees her steps out, step out. And before I can even say anything, he's like, "Get your bow. That's the cooter cow with horns." So I hand off the camera and grab my bow, and here it is as it unfolds.
haven't seen a kudu cow with horns running around out here and it's a one in a million deal and I can't believe that she just walked into the water and I shot her at 29 yards with a bow. <laughs> How cool is that? Becca's gonna be upset. Yeah. Because <laughs> I think she wanted the she wanted kudu the cow with the horns. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> that's like a, Thank you. That's like a one in. I mean, that's like one of those natural abnormalities that happens in every one in three hundred to five hundred thousand animals. Wow! It just doesn't happen. <laughs> I'm so excited to go look at it. That's so insane. Bailey Simple Hunting Safaris, folks. That's crazy awesome. We actually changed stands, so I'm sure y'all are pretty familiar with that other spot at this point in time. And we changed to a totally new setup. Hadn't even been in here. 20, 30 minutes. We ate lunch in the blind and then out come out the sesame first and then Dempsey says kudu. And it, what was funny was <clears throat> I was looking at her through, uh, through the camera, I think, when I was filming. And I was like, I almost stopped and looked at you and said, look at the horns. Those are some goofy looking horns <laughs> on that. And I didn't realize it was the cow because I, I don't know. I just I saw the other one and then when I was looking at her, they were weird. But that was super awesome. We're going to go take a look at her. <laughs> that is I'm freaking believable. Uh, that is <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe it. Oh, I can't believe it. This is one in a million, eh? Look at the ears. Wow. Hey, you never realize how big the ears are. Yeah. I've, I mean I've I've been within five yards of them, you know, big tame ones, but yeah. I've never actually touched one anymore. Like, you know? like satellite dishes, right? Yeah. Just massive, massive ears. This is yeah, this is this is special. <laughs> this is very special. One's coming out and going this way, and the other one's going out and going back. Yeah, that and way. from the side, it's, <laughs> this one's pointing forward. This one's pointing back. Yeah. Wow, that's too cool. Jeez. So when, how does that happen exactly? I wish I knew the answer. <laughs> <laughs> A freak so, of nature. Yeah, this is kind of defect. Yeah, I don't know. I think I don't even know if the autopsy will reveal anything at all. To be honest with you, it's just one of those freak things. Just incredible. Like, totally, totally incredible. This is like museum worthy. I mean, this is just, this doesn't happen. <laughs> Jeez. That is strange. And amazing. Yeah. It's so fun. So awesome. I totally broke it. Dude, I don't, I don't, I think you actually did break the leg. <laughs> which should be a first. <laughs> no ways. No ways. I think you did. Oh, you did it really nicely. Yeah. One of the two. <laughs> so, because she's obviously not a bull, you'll see she doesn't have the, the, the beard. Uh -huh. So, she's missing her beard. Yeah. She's. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, it's a she for sure. But spread the legs back there, it's definitely a yeah. she. I don't, I don't quite know how it all works. But that's amazing. That is absolutely amazing. That's cool. I don't have very many words to explain this right now, but I uh, had a rough go this morning with a big kudu bull and this totally made up for it. She didn't run. I don't know, maybe 80 yards and piled up. Uh, this is insane. To shoot a kudu cow is one thing, but to shoot one with horns is another. It's a once in a million, once in a lifetime kind of deal. And we did it right here with Bailey Sipple Safaris. Um, I can't promise you that there'll be another one running around out here for, for one of you guys to come shoot, but um, there are lots of huge kudu bulls that you guys can come shoot. So. All the information will be linked down in the description below and you guys can um, fly over here or run over here or swim over here, however you choose, but you just got to come. I don't care how you get here, you got to come hunt with Bailey Sipple Safaris. Um, I don't know, I don't know what else to think. I don't know what else to say. That's, that's pretty awesome. I think you made my, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. She's got such cool character. 
I mean, if there is even anything to compare to, we'll find out. We'll look it up online. <laughs> and we'll be contacting National Geographic very soon. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Super awesome. Super pretty colors. Um, I've I've helped manage some ranches, and um, we I see kudu a lot. Or I used to get to see kudu a lot and fed them and been around them, but this is my first time to actually touch one. So this is a, a really awesome experience for me. And to see their colors in person and everything else, it's it's super incredible. So here she is, and just to 100% show you guys that it is not a male. It is definitely a female, and she's also missing her, um, what do you call her beard, uh, is her that what beard, you call yeah. it? Yeah. So our, our big kudu bulls, when they mature and old, they get this beautiful beard that hangs here, and she's obviously missing it. She's got a, a cow neck, a cow body, everything a cow has. Um, yeah, everything a cow has. <laughs> Unreal. Except she's got horns. Yeah, except she's got horns. That's too cool. In that moment of all the filming and all that stuff happening in the mix of the chaos, I was pretty speechless. And now that I've had time to think about it more, I'm just like, <laughs> I don't know, I'm still speechless, but I'm, I'm humbled, I guess I will say, because um, I, I guess that's the best word. This is just a one in a 500,000 chance with all the research that we've done, the only thing that we've been able to find is one other kudu cow that has been harvested and it was done with a rifle. Um, I did this one with a bow and I was so super fortunate and lucky to get it on video as well to share with you guys. Um, this was probably one of those highlights of the trip, like this makes the top three definitely, along with the doubles with my parents. But. I guess I'm still kind of spe speechless. Um, all the meat was used. Um, I get an awesome trophy, and beyond that, I also get a super cool story to tell. Anytime somebody comes walking in the house and they're like, what is that thing? And then I'll have a really cool story. Um, but yeah, like I said, it's, it's a super rare animal. It's the equivalent of a white-tailed doe here in the, in the States having antlers. And you just it's something that you don't ever see. And I hope that this video really portrayed um, just how special this animal was. Um, she's extremely special and, and very rare. And I'm so glad that I could have the opportunity to harvest her and then share this experience with you guys because um, it's never been never been seen before. Um, really, from what research we've done, um, the, the guy that killed the other kudu cow with horns, um, he killed it with a rifle and it wasn't on video. Um, from what we've been able to find. So, I really hope that you guys enjoyed this episode. It is the last one, and then tomorrow you guys are going to see a super epic hog hunt that my dad and I went on. And as I wrap this video up, I want to say a huge thank you to uh, Big John, to Rudy, to Dempsey, to Mark, to everyone that helped throughout this trip, that made this trip possible, that guided for us, that took care of us. Um, everybody that filmed for me because I had a lot of help with the camera couldn't have done it by myself that's for dang sure so uh, a huge thank you to all those guys and for anyone that has any interest in going to Africa to hunt any animal you need to go with, with Bailey Simple Safaris they have obviously some of the craziest animals out there they can get you on anything and that's from lions to giraffes to elephants to anything, your super crazy stuff, your water, your uh, Cape Buffalo, down to your Plains game and everything in between, um, crocodiles, incredible outfit, and guys, we just, we thoroughly, thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed our trip with Bailey Simple Safaris, and we are like exactly, almost exactly a month, or actually, no, we're, we're over a month post-Africa um, from being home and all that good stuff, and so it's good to be home, but at the same time, like Africa has a super special place in my heart, and if you guys um, ever get the opportunity to go, go. Um, it will change your life, it changed mine. Um, the experiences, the people, the friendships, the fellowship, and of course the animals, and just everything. It was, it was um, speechless. <laughs> it was something that I will always remember here, but also now I have 
video documentation of it and I will have all these videos to go back on and look at and watch and relive these hunts and enjoy these experiences all over again and I'm so glad that I was able to share the entire series with you guys. Um, I hope that you enjoyed the entire series. It was a lot of work, um, a lot of editing, a lot of traveling time. And I, now that it's over, um, I feel like I have a little bit of like some weight lifted off my shoulders. But at the same time, I've got this whole pressure of like, here's deer season and here's to pumping out some Texas content back for you guys. And I can't wait. Can't wait to share it with you guys. Be sure to hit, your, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss anything. And go back and, and watch all these Africa videos if you've missed any. They all turned out pretty awesome and they were very, very fun. And also, you want to be a part of the 4B fam. That way you get to experience all this other craziness that is coming up this fall. And we'll leave it at that. Thank you guys so much for watching. Leave me a big old thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. And drop a comment down below if you have any questions. Love you guys. I'll see you tomorrow.